it's too cold out here. Now what am I doing? I'm blowing some warm air from my mouth so that I feel warmer. Now let me have some coffee. But it's too hot to have. Mm, let's cool it down some more. Mm, now I can have it. Mm, perfect now. Have you ever wondered the air that you blow out from your mouth is warm as well as cool. When you blow the air on your hands, you feel warm. But when you blow it on the coffee, the coffee becomes colder. How does this happen? That means you can blow hot as well as you can blow cold. Let's find out the reason behind it. Let's see the reason why you blow hot air. Now when you blow hot air, you usually keep your mouth open and you blow. So what happens due to which is the air coming out of your mouth is very slow and warm because the interior of your body is warm. So the air coming out of your body also will be warm and it is a slow moving air so you can feel the warmth. But on the other side, when you blow something with pursed lips, that means like this. What are you doing is through a small gap, you're pushing the air outside with a greater force. So the air comes out of your mouth with a greater speed. So more the speed, the air will cool down faster as it mixes with the surrounding air faster. So that is how you blow cold. Okay, so again, how do you blow hot? Because your mouth is wide open, the air coming out of your mouth is warm because the interior of our body is warm. And secondly, that air is slow moving. So it will remain warm and make you feel warm. But on the other side, with the pursed lips, if you blow, the air coming out of your mouth is with a greater speed it is moving. So due to which it cools down faster. So that air is, a, is the cold air that we feel. So that is how we blow hot and we blow cold. Okay, so blowing hot air, we require our mouth to be wide open. Wide open mouth. And the air coming out of our mouth is slow, moving, warm air. Okay, that makes us feel warm. So what about blowing cold? How do we blow cold? You having pursed lips. With the help of pursed lips and fast moving air which cools faster. Okay, that is how you blow cold. Alright, one more thing that you have to notice here is, suppose if you take your hand away and you blow with the open mouth, do you feel the air being warm as it was before? No, you will not feel that much of warmth. This is because when we blow from a longer distance, the air coming out of our mouth mixes with the surrounding air and it cools down because the surrounding air is cooler than the air we breathe out or we blow out. I hope you get that. All right. So if we move our hand away from mouth, we do not feel the air as warm as it was when we keep our hands close to mouth. Alright? And what is the reason behind this? The reason behind this is Okay, let's write down the reason here. Okay, the reason says when the air comes out of our mouth, it mixes with the surrounding air and cools down. Alright, 
So when you keep your hands near or any other object near your mouth, you will feel that the air blown out of your mouth is warm. Whereas when you keep it at a distance, then we, you will feel that the air has become cooler. That is because it mixes with the surrounding air which is much cooler than the air blown out of your mouth. I hope you are clear with all these things.